Hey, what's up, folks? About ready to get this thing started here. Had to figure out how to uh, stream again. It's been so long since my last stream. I believe January was the last time I was able to stream. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. And I'm not talking to myself. How you guys doing tonight? Very excited to give this a go. Uh, Green Valley, Nebraska by DJ Modding. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set up the farm on this stream tonight from scratch. Let you guys kind of see how I do it. And uh, maybe we'll have uh, some time to try some things out. Also have... A special truck that we're going to take a look at by BC Builder. So we got some folks in the stream. I've seen some names here. We got uh, Scorpion's Edge. Long time no see there. I think you've been avoiding me. <laughs> Nick, how you doing there? We got uh, Philip, and uh, I know him as Marine. Welcome to the stream. Why not gaming? And Swiss Mizzy. Both in the stream tonight. And uh, we got BC Bueller here. All right, guys. The man of the hour. One of the men of the hours right there. Let's uh, keep loading here. I'll read down through the chat here. You guys are chatting it up. Oh, you guys are seeing my little shorts there. We got Jordan, Philip, Jack. Man, I am very happy to see each and every one of you here in the stream. So, like I said, this is a brand new game save. I have done absolutely nothing but select my mods and jump in here. So we're still at the starting location here. It's August, so it's warm. I got the shorts on. <laughs> and we got Glenn here. How you doing? All right, so uh, what we're going to do here is pick a farm. So uh, what I've decided to do on this series, and if you guys know some of my content or the majority of my content, I usually end up making things difficult on myself. Usually start out with some small equipment and never get to use the big stuff and that's what i want to do on this map we got some big fields around the map i want to get the big stuff out and uh, also maybe try anhydrous i've never used anhydrous not 19 and not so far in 22. so that's the kind of the uh the direction i'm going to go on this series here and I do intend to mainly do this series all live, all live stream. So uh, hopefully you guys will be along for that ride. So I need to pick a farm. And I think there's been already a couple series up here on the uh, main starting farm here, Green Valley Ranch. So I've been looking around. And... I think I want to try this over here, the Hillside Ranch. We jump over here. Let me turn on a uh, flight mode here. And let me uh, change the camera view there. This is the farm I think I want to try. I do like the layout of it. I think it will work well with auto drive, setting up some courses to get in and out with grain trucks and such. So, I've been looking at this one, but um, I did like Ashley Farms. We'll hop over here real quick. The only thing I'm concerned about Ashley Farms is getting in and out of it. It probably would work okay, but I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous about trying that on on a live stream. So, 
I think I'm going to stick with Hillside Ranch. And uh, in case any of you guys have not seen the map tour, we'll go up here and take a look at the starting farm here that DJ Modding has set up for us. Uh, one thing I do like about this farm, there is a fertilizer lime and seed storage bins. So that is something we don't have on the other farm. I have to figure something out. There is a big field in front of here. But like I said, just did not want to start on the same farm that probably everybody else is going to start on. All right, so like I said, this is a brand new save here. We've got all of this equipment. Um, what I'm going to do, since we do have a BC Bueller in here right now, uh, one thing that I do want to do is uh, get rid of the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I got to find it here. Yeah, we do start with that truck and that trailer. So let's hop over here. I'm going to go ahead and sell this. And I want to go ahead and buy the truck I want to use on my farm. And uh, this is a uh, new mod that's coming out pretty soon by BC Builder. Hopefully for all platforms, I think is correct. And he gave me the opportunity to uh, check it out, test it out a little bit, and also gave me permission to uh, show you guys a little early preview of it. So we'll get turned around here. I think we're going to sell this in here. Maybe. Trying to save as much money as I can here. Started out on new farmer mode. We got the 100,000. We do have some land. We're going to sell that and buy some different land. So we're just doing a little bit of setup here. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, BC Bueller has indicated that this new grain truck that I'm going to show you here in a few minutes is for all platforms. I'm not doing a very good job backing in here. I would sell it out of the mini, but I think we would not get as much for it. So we're going to just do this here. I'm going to need all I can get with buying this new equipment here. Okay. Hey, there's Peanut. How you doing, Peanut? And Fury. We got Fury in here. Doing good, doing good. Uh, let's see here. Trying to read ch chat and play the game is not working out very well for me. So here is the uh, new grain truck. Actually, there's two trucks that's going to be coming out here. We have the Mac here and a few different designs. Uh, on the colors, so you got a solid color and then the uh, one with the stripe here. You got two exhaust options. You got the duals or the single. And then you do have engine setup. You got a 400 horsepower and a 500 horsepower. A few options on the wheels. And uh, it does change the tires a little bit as well. Actually, that does not seem to be changing it. Oh, that's the engine. I clicked wrong. Good grief. Click the right thing there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So just a few different options here on the uh, tires and wheels. Uh, you can have a painted hub or the aluminum look there. And then, of course, you can change the color to whatever you'd like. So, really cool. I do like the truck there, but what I am going for is this right here. Grain truck holds uh, about 20,000 liters. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to buy this for the farm. And I uh, think what I'm going to do 
I had a color set up earlier. I liked it a lot. I think this is what I had on the thumbnail. Uh, let's pick. I like these faded out look looking colors here on the truck. And I think I'll leave the top with the black. And then let's change out the rims here. Uh, let's see. That's it. We're going to go to the aluminum tires there. We'll do the off-road. That way we don't get stuck. Uh, it also has a triaxle option on the uh, grain truck. So that is really sweet if you want to uh, have that look. But I'm actually just going to stick with the dual axle right there. So that is a really nice looking truck. I love the old style equipment. So that right there is right up my alley. So we're going to go ahead and purchase that. And then the other thing that comes with this package here, if I can find it, here we go. Oh, we got two things actually. You do have a semi trailer. It holds uh, about 30,000 liters, it looks like, right at 30,000. And of course you do have the same wheel and tire options, color options, has the stripe there down the uh, middle. Uh, but what you can get to go with the grain truck is this right here, a pup trailer. And it holds uh, just over 22,000. And let's see. We'll get the aluminum wheels to match. This one does not have the off-road option, so we'll go with those there. And then we'll change the color to match the truck. There we go. And here it is. Yeah, why not? Uh, I, it is su supposed to come to consoles, so you should be good to go on that. Yeah, Glenn, that uh, I do too. I like the uh, the different uh, hub options that he has on it. Very nicely done. Yeah, Nick, um, I've tried it out. I loaded it down with lime and both this uh, truck and the trailer and did not have any trouble. So it seems to be working out really well. has plenty of power. Um, I guess I actually bought the uh, 400 horsepower engine. I didn't even pay attention to, the, to that when I bought this truck, but we should be good to go. So we do have a truck. And that looks sweet. I do like that. So now what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, buy the land. I think I'm going to go ahead and get moved over to Hillside Ranch. We're going to go with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and sell off some property. And then let's go ahead and buy the new property. Wrong button there. Okay, so let me like, take a look at the fields here and see what they have planted in it and see what we might want to start with. So 25 and 28 are both ready to harvest. So it's 38 and we have, looks like oats in 28. I'm hoping that's sorghum and not potatoes in 25 and 38. So let's see how much money we have left here. So 
We have a 1.4 million. If we're going to go big, we might as well go big right, right out of the gate. So let's go ahead and get the big field there. And is this one? Let's go ahead and buy that one. Okay, we'll go with that for now. And... We need to uh, change out some equipment. Man, well now we got B DJ modding in here. Oh boy. A lot of pressure. <laughs> Appreciate you stopping by, buddy. I am doing great. I hope you're doing well. And uh, we're giving your... We're going to put your map through the ringer here on this uh, live stream here. So we'll see... Uh, how well it works works out okay so now we need to get rid of some equipment and I think the easiest way for me to do that if you guys don't mind I'm going to uh, just reset all of the starting equipment here yeah no problem DJ I appreciate it uh, appreciate the opportunity to uh, do the uh, early playthrough on it. So it looks like folks are really interested in the map and should be a good success for you once it is released. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and reset everything to the shop up here and I'm going to sort through and see what we're going to end up keeping. And then what we're going to move down, what we'll keep and move down to the new farm, and then what we'll end up selling. And I know I just reset those headers off the header trailer there. So Jack is wanting me to uh, make it all older style case equipment. You know, I almost thought of that. Jack is trying to uh, go with like an old setup. Um, but I do want to use some large equipment and some of the newer stuff as well. So it may be a mix. Maybe we'll, we'll have some older stuff and then maybe uh, some newer stuff. Let me make sure I have all of the equipment. Yep, looks like it. <laughs> Glenn, yeah. Uh... That's the only problem with console is sometimes you're limited on some of the awesome maps that are released for PC. So we're just going to quickly sell off some of this equipment and uh, this is in no way, shape, or form. A uh, knock on the equipment that was provided for us because it is actually a, a lot of equipment and a lot of really good, nice equipment. But we're just going to uh, sort through some of this and uh, pick some different things out. Let's see, we're going to get to some of this stuff down here. I did not want to do this uh, ahead of time because, to be honest with you, I still did not up until the uh, start of the stream I just wasn't sure where I was going to take this series and how I wanted to approach it so I just left everything as is and uh, like I said this is kind of how I set things up now the only difference is I would normally just uh, sell e everything right out of the menu and the, then adjust uh, my finances accordingly but that's because I normally start with next to nothing but on this series, I wanted to uh, make it fairly fun and not too intense. So I'm trying to uh, sell some of this stuff and just keep the money like we were actually doing it as part of the playthrough. So I'm going to sell these three guys down here. I may need that water tanker at some point, but I'm not sure. We'll sell the cedar here and the sprayer. OK, 
Cut through the bushes. I tell you, some of the uh, the maps that I set up, the uh, series that I set up, I've spent so much time trying to set things up and uh, get it just sorted out. And I'll I'll spend hours and hours and hours trying to pick out equipment and uh, trying to come up with a plan. So I did not want to do that on this series. We're just going to go kind of just raw here and uh, see what happens. I have no plans other than trying to uh, use some bigger stuff. Yeah, Jordan, I've uh, watched a couple episodes. I am not wor watched the latest. Yeah, he did a really good job on the uh, starting equipment, Nick. Um, I, I mean, the reality is you could just go right out of the gate with what he provided. And I really have a pretty good playthrough. Yeah, I need to get the water tanker down there. Am I seeing this? Do I seriously have 40 viewers currently right now? Wow. That may be a record. I appreciate you all stopping in and hanging out with me. got a couple new subscribers there as well that is awesome all right so let's get these two things sold here all right and let me Pause the menu just a second here. I need to adjust something here on the other screen so I can see who uh, is this subscribing. I was not able to see that. All right, there we go. All right, so I do want to keep this big Steiger and the grain cart. And I'm going to keep the planter for now. I don't know if we'll hang on to that long term. We'll keep the harvester and the magnum for now. And I guess we'll keep this uh, header trailer here. Now, I'm going to do something here. Like I said, this is just set up. I'm not being super realistic. And I am called Mighty Mike, so this makes sense. <laughs> We'll just uh, sling it up on the trailer there. Did I get it centered up? Yeah, that's good enough. All right, let me turn that off before it causes me some problems. So everything else down here, I believe we are going to keep. So I'm going to get rid of this little maxim here. I think that's what this is. Yeah. Yeah, Scorpion's right. Make sure you hit that like button. That is the best thing that you guys can do to support my channel. YouTube uses the likes to rate the videos, rank the videos. So the more likes it has, and the better chance it has of getting pushed out to other folks. So I do appreciate all of the likes. Well, thank you, Dakota. I appreciate you subbing. That's awesome. Glad to have you on board. All right, so we're going to hop in the truck here. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a little auto drive course down to the new farm. And then when we get down there, 
we'll go ahead and reset that equipment down okay let's start right here I'll tell you something that I have been doing here lately and I don't know about you guys that use auto drive but I have been actually creating the uh, two-way uh, courses for the most part and it's been working out really well And let's see, I need to change a couple options in here. Let's see, we'll put that above the tractor and we'll turn off the sound because that is annoying. And something else we need to turn off. Where is it? There it is. Connect auto, auto start. Auto connect start. We'll turn that off. Let's go ahead and start this course recording here. The Ryan, the interior looks just like the uh, base game Max, which looks really nice. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, if I could, uh, I need to get a get a helper, don't I? At some point, I'm gonna have to break down and get a multiplayer server and get some folks in here with me. Come on, there we go. I'll just set that one as the shop. So a nice way to us uh, to keep this from uh, being like a infinite loop here is you can just change that one to a one direction. So now when the uh, vehicles come in, they'll go down a long ways and then come back around and stop at the shop. And when you leave out, they'll continue back on to the uh, path. That's why I've been uh, using those multi-way. Uh, courses it seems to be working out good and then I just put in little pieces that are directional like this one little segment here and that keeps the traffic flowing in the direction I want it I do like how auto drive picks up the uh, the uh, courses of these uh, the the traffic splines. That is really nice and helpful. Another uh, trick, if you guys haven't seen it, is uh, if you just click your endpoint here and hover over the uh, point you want, and just use your scroll wheel, you can make a nice little arc. Boom. How about that? Same thing, we'll pull this one in. Make some nice little arcs coming in and out. Do the same thing out here on the road. And this one here. How about that? How easy is that? We got Farmer Taz in the house. Welcome, sir. Appreciate you dropping by. Taz is another content creator. We got quite a few in here, actually. 
Um, a lot of folks out here making farm sim videos. So I need to figure out how is the best way to get down to my, my new farm. I had to pick the farthest one away from the shop. Of course. All right, I think the best way is going to just be go into town and straight down. Let's go ahead that way. Yeah, guys, I did link uh, both DJ Modding's Facebook page and BC Bueller's Facebook page in the uh, description of the video. But... Uh, or if you haven't been to their page or follow them, go ahead and uh, check them out if you want updates on both the map and the release of the uh, truck. Oh man, Scorpion, I hate to hear that. Seemed like uh, last year you guys were down there for a similar reason. Yeah, see, we're going down to the next road here. Yeah, Casa Farms, this is a great looking map. A really big open map, a lot of fields. So it is going to be a lot of fun here. Yeah, there you go, Scorpion. Thanks for uh, linking Taz's channel. Uh, let's see. Wow, we're uh, slow down here. What road are we turning? We passed it. We passed the road. All right. So while I'm here, I'll go ahead and fix these connectors. It's the same thing. I could click there and just do the little art. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Nope. Oh. I'm going to get rid of that one there on the end. So, uh, Alt, left click. That'll just bring that arc in just a little more. Make for a better turn, and then I'll go ahead and fix that one out as well. That one's getting a little weird. Let's try that again. Yeah, see, sometimes it doesn't quite work. So we will do that one later there. Yep, see that one's acting a little weird there. But those are easy fix, just alt. And you can uh, get rid of those. Left click on it, adjust it. And then connect it right up. So I'll finish the rest of those. Another time, this will get us down to the farm. So the weird thing is there's only a one-way spline on this road. So that's going to be a problem. I'll have to fix that as well. And we are down to the next farm. That's correct. Down to the next. Make sure I'm not going past the farm. Yeah, it's the next one. Still getting sorted out here on directions on this map. Uh, I don't think so, Scorpion. All 
right, finally made it to the farm here, and I do have to do some work on these auto drive courses here. Home sweet home. All right. That will get us down here to the farm. I'm just going to park that there. And I need to find a place that we can start getting this equipment up here. Looks like this would be a good, good spot here. So let's. Go ahead and drop down our marker. We're just going to reset everything here. And we'll bring it on down. Hey, old cranky. Oh, oh, nope. Untag. Nice to see you in the uh, stream here. OBC Bueller has some top secret ideas, folks. Only good things to come from him. All right. Uh oh, what's going on down here? That planter. Ew! Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> oh, wow, that's weird too. It did not like being reset. Wow, okay. All right, so we are down at the farm here, and I don't know everything that I need. We still have a little bit of cash, but how about we do a little bit of farming here? Try to. Get started on it at least. So let's take a look at the fields we have. We have field 25 and field 28. So before we get going too much here, let me just run over here real quick. I want to make sure this is not potatoes. If it is, I'm going to cry. No, I don't think it is. Sorghum. That will work. So, we're going to get some harvesting done. We'll put the, uh, the grain truck to use. Yeah, Casa, that is definitely the case here. That did not like it. Where's my header? Okay, it's down there. So like I said at the beginning, this is just a fun play. I'm not trying to be super realistic on this. I do enough of that on my uh, playthrough series, recorded series. So we're just going to have some fun. Try some new things. I want to try some... Uh... Oh, I'm going to have to pull that out of the gate, I think. On the whip. It may make it. Try some productions. There are a lot of productions on this map, so probably try some of those. And we're going to use helpers, use course play, auto drive. So should just be a fun little series here. Trying out this map. Uh, DJ wanted us to play on it, to test it, to give it a go. So that's what we're going to do. Forty-two liking, forty-two watching, and thirty-three likes. Yeah, that math doesn't work there. We need to have forty-two likes and forty-two watching. Oh man! I'm sorry if I'm going to offend anyone right here, but we'll just do it that way. 
Yeah, no problem, Glenn. Go enjoy your dinner. We had uh, Eros tonight. They were actually pretty good. Homemade. Uh, what am I doing? It's, it's on the harvester. I need to unfold the harvester. Okay. Here we go. I know you guys don't have access to this map just yet, but when it does release, who intends to play on it? Or do you guys have any uh, other maps that you're focused on right now really enjoying? Hey there, Epic Domain. Doing, uh, doing great tonight. Glad to have you stop by the stream here. Dakota, I'm with you on that. The grain truck is, it is pretty nice. I'm really happy that VC Bueller put that together. Yes, yeah, Scorpion, I agree. Um, MRG uh, has that map. Um, when it comes out, don't know, but that one should be a good one as well. Well, Dakota, we uh, actually already went through the, uh, the truck a little bit earlier on. Uh, we'll get back to it here in a bit when we need to unload this sorghum here. Um, but you can either uh, rewind the stream or I'll maybe check it out later. Yeah, I saw that today, Farmer Taz, the the Nitro Dad map. So that's uh, another one coming. That should be really well, well done. Yeah, B L K B L K B L L T gaming. I'm going to call you BB Gaming. How about that? <laughs> uh, yeah, No Man's Land. I tell you, that's like a love-hate map right there. Um, it, it gives you so many opportunities to just kind of make it your own. But then again, you got to make it your own. There's not anything really on it to that's predefined. So I kind of... I've never really just got all in on no man's not that there's anything wrong with it uh, it is a great map uh, but it's just something I haven't personally been able to uh, just dive into rare how did I get early access? Well, I guess uh, I guess I'm just special and lucky. Probably more lucky. <laughs> no, uh, had been in communication with DJ modding, and uh, he offered it uh, to me as an early access, early preview. So that is how. But it will be out very, very soon. So hang tight. It is coming your way shortly. <laughs> yeah, I am special. A special kind of special. Wespy? Uh, yeah, Epic. Actually, I have a personal 
playthrough on Westby. Um, I'm not recording on that map, but I am just doing a little personal playthrough, uh, just kind of to clear my thoughts and come up with new ideas, try different equipment when I'm not recording. Uh, I do like the map. It's big. A lot of, uh, that's a lot of map. But I do like it. And I hadn't got into it a whole lot. I uh, just kind of just started my playthrough not too long ago. But I am enjoying that one as well. I think Farmer Taz just started a series on Wispy. Or another series on Wispy. Well, that's cool, Jordan, that you actually have a Mac grain truck on your farm uh, in real life. Yeah, I do. I personally like the grain trucks. I think it's it's a little bit more uh, nostalgic than the uh, modern day semis and, and grain trailers, which I know that they have they have their place and purpose, but. I personally like the uh, look of the grain trucks myself. Yeah, Scorpion? It is, I guess. I've been real fortunate here lately. I've uh, gotten some uh, first look opportunities. And uh, from a content creator perspective, that is really cool uh, i do appreciate the opportunity to get first looks and you know what that's going to make a pretty good screenshot right there let's uh let's take a little quick screenshot here but i do like the uh, first look opportunities and reviews gets me some uh, content some material gives folks a chance to see it early and uh, also helps the modders get their stuff out in front of people as well. A uh, rare as far as the uh, release of the map. I don't know the date. I know DJ was trying to get it. Uh, he told me he was trying a, about a week after I got it. So that's been a couple days ago. So, um, it should be out really soon, and the link to his Facebook page is in uh, my description below, so you can go over there and uh, check it out. I don't know if he's going to post it on a, uh, a site or what, so uh, best bet is just to uh, check it out on Facebook. Dakota's back. Hope you saw the grain truck. Yeah, thank you, why not? I appreciate it. Um, it's really cool to uh, kind of get get to a play on something a little bit early. Oh, rare green. This is this is going to be a case for him. I'll I'll tell you that right now. We are going to do case on this playthrough, at least for now. Oh, that'll be cool, Jordan. Yeah, put a picture up. I'd like to see that. Be neat to uh, compare them and uh, see see how uh, how they compare the real life one from the in game one. Brandon, I appreciate that. Yeah, the uh, grain truck is really nice. BC Bueller has done a great job on it. Let me turn my hood back on here. Uh, Scorpion problem is you can't fix them. You gotta take it to the dealership to fix it. Yeah, well, Craig, I think that's what he's shooting for is this week, maybe by this weekend. 
So hang tight, folks. It'll be out really, really soon. And uh, BC Builders, I would imagine he's going to, uh, he'll have to send it in for testing to Giant. So I'm not sure how long that will take. I don't know if they've gotten caught up on the uh, backlog yet. So we will see how long it takes for his to uh, get back after he submits it for testing. Well, that's cool, Michael. That is, uh, I tell you, I've, I'm kind of the same way. I'll find mods that I like, and I just kind of stick with them. Either, you know, for some kind of nostalgic reason, sentimental value, or just that it works really well or looks really good. Um, there are so many mods out there to choose from, but for me, usually when I find something I like, I, I use it over and over. Shredder, you have one option. Get a PC. Unfortunately, some of these maps that have uh, some of the branded stuff like Tractor Supply and things like that is just uh, pretty much impossible to get them moved to a console and it's too big. It's just uh, too big of a map to be on console with the uh, console limitations. So you, you really only have one choice is to uh, get a PC. Unfortunately, that's the only choice there. I started out on console myself, so I know exactly how you feel. And uh, just a quick mic check here real quick, guys. Is the uh, engine sound or game sound too loud or too low? I have not screamed in a while, so I just want to make sure all of my settings are still where they need to be so if you can let me know if everything sounds okay or if I need to make any adjustments yeah rare it is it's kind of funny how folks stick with a brand uh, even in real life but you know I found a lot of that is based on you know dealership availability you know if you live in an area that has a John Deere dealership well you're probably going to buy John Deere equipment so it's just kind of interesting to see how that kind of transpires on farms I know oh we're full I know locally around me it's pretty much John Deere dealership so that is what you see on uh, the farms Hey, Trail Pet. Uh, awesome. Glad you found my channel. Glad you're here. I appreciate that. I'm running a little behind in the chat there. So, yeah, BC Bueller says he'll submit it tonight. And uh, hopefully we'll see it soon for everybody. Yeah, Epic uh, DJ Modding does a great job on his maps. A lot of space. You don't really get jammed up in trees too much along the edges. Until you have some knucklehead like me come along and want to maximize every bit of my space. And I plow everything up to the edges of the trees. <laughs> so... Okay, and so this is a this is a little tricky here on me is the uh, pup trailer. I have to keep forgetting the uh, commands there. Getting the uh, cover open. Thank you, old cranky. I appreciate uh, Epic Jim. Appreciate you guys for the uh, sound check. back at the combine here probably should have set up a horse here but we're going to just do it manual for a bit Let's see what we can get done now one question I do have for you guys 
like I said before, this series, for the most part, at least right now what I'm planning, is going to be live stream only. I do want to get into live streaming uh, consistently, so I figured this would be a good map to jump on and uh, do some uh, live streaming. I do have seasons turned on currently, and I do have it set to two-day seasons. Should I leave it that way, or should I turn off seasons? Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> old cranky yeah you yeah, plowed up to the the very edge of the trees just to uh, watch the helpers get stuck grizzly farms welcome haven't seen you around in a while glad you made it by seven day brandon 60 day why not? You guys are crazy. So keep seasons on. Keep it on. And Scorpion is uh, no help. <laughs> Epic says keep seasons. Alright. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to stick with two day seasons. I, we can always play with the time skill there just to make sure we get things done. Matter of fact, I do have that. Let's just bump it up a little bit so we don't cheat too much. Yeah, well, Cranky, that's why I kind of posed the question because the only thing with seasons in a series like this, it locks you into a kind of play in through the seasons, which we may have to fast forward a little bit of time here and there, but that'll be okay. Like I said, this is not gonna be super realistic. We're just here to have fun. Give me a chance to chit chat with you guys. That's one thing about the uh, live streams that I do enjoy getting to uh, get people commenting and reading their comments and being able to reply uh, it just doesn't doesn't always work great in the uh, comments on the videos so this this I do enjoy yeah trumpet I do need some help don't I probably need another combine wait till we get to the next field Brandon, the series is going to go until folks don't want to watch it anymore. So, this is uh, episode number one. It may end up going a little little while. Um, not real sure. Sixty-three viewing. That is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you guys for coming in. That may be a record. A record for me. Be sure to click the thumbs up. That is very important. If you don't like what, what you're seeing, click the uh, dislike button twice. Just to make sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with this sword one. I guess I'll probably throw it in the uh, in the silo for now. Thanks, Grizzly. I appreciate it. It is uh, something live streaming I have not done consistently, and I do want it. Oh, I've done it again. Yapping away, I'm not paying attention. But I haven't been consistent on a live stream, so I do want to get point where I am and hopefully have it 
where folks kind of get used to a schedule and that'll help out I think with the views as well uh, old cranky that is the base game combine that was the one that was uh, set up here or provided as the uh, starting equipment so I just held on to it Yeah, I do need to get GPS on there. I do have it in the uh, mods. I think what we'll end up doing is we're probably going to have to hire a worker. And we probably need to uh, set up another combine. If I can afford one. That's going to be the only thing. I don't have a whole lot of cash left. I guess I could take another loan. Or take a loan. Well, Rare, uh, you can always come back and watch the uh, the rest of it. It'll be recorded and posted up, so understand if you have to go. No worries about that. Yeah, Grizzly, it's been fun. I... I never thought I'd be uh, doing YouTube. I just uh, gave it a shot and uh, it's had a lot of fun. It gives me a chance to be a little creative. So uh, it's been an interesting ride. Blair, that grain truck is uh, actually an early release. I'm going to like, hire a worker there. We'll get a worker going there. We'll hop in here. This grain truck is an early release preview. And it's by BC Builder Farms. Uh, his link to his Facebook page is in the description of the video. Go check him out. Give him a follow. And you should see this at some point in the near future on Mod Hub available for all platforms. Trader, I appreciate that. Yeah, Elk Mountain, uh, I am really enjoying that map as well. So that has been a fun series. Probably won't be as intense as uh, FSGs. <laughs> he is putting a lot of effort into that storyline, but well, my storyline's a little bit toned down. But I am thoroughly enjoying that playthrough as well. Alright, so here's something that you guys need to know. This is very important. Pay attention. Everyone pay attention. When you get this map, and you have your nice Mac full of grain and you're going to throw it in your silo don't drive up here and dump it I'm going to show you what happens I'm going to show you okay I'm going to pull up here I'm going to dump a little bit in there watch the money up in the right corner Up. do you see that is selling it. So, what you have to do, this is going to take a little hit here on the money. You have to buy the grain dryer. $30,000. And you know what I'm going to do, folks? We are going to give me that money back. Because I think that is kind of a uh, unfair but now it is empty and let me change the door on this thing here so to dump out a little bit quicker there we go so now it will store it
Yeah, Grizzly, the farmyards, all of the farms really on this map are are uh, really nice. So one thing to show you here, if we look at the menu, we don't have any sorghum shown here. But if I go to dump it in here, it is in our silo. Holy cow, old cranky. You, my friend, are my very first channel member. Thank you very much. That is so cool. That is really cool. I appreciate that. Nope, let's stop that there. Very first. Congratulations. The grain door empties out really quickly. I like that. The chute is probably a little bit more realistic. Now one thing I didn't notice on here, there is not a... Not a hitch on the back of this, okay. So you could only pull the one trailer. So I think my combine is full. So we get back over here. And I get him unloaded. I mean, how good looking. I mean, that truck just looks fantastic. I don't know if you're still in the uh, stream yet. Or still in the stream, BC Bueller. But we're getting a little bit of flash in there on the uh, cover. Looks like just when it's open. Nope, oh, it's when it's closed there too. Not sure what's going on there. Yeah, I was also wondering if there was a hitch on the back of this trailer in case you wanted to uh, connect an auger up or something and drag it with you. But I did not see that there. I personally don't like fooling with the augers too much myself. I wonder if it is flashing when I'm out of the truck. Yep. Maybe the wind's just blowing really hard and popping that flap up. <laughs> All right. So we have the uh, helper go in there. He is going to chew through a little bit of money. So let's take a look here at the sorghum prices. Oh, yeah, we are not going to sell it right now. We'll just put it in the put it in the silo. You th you guys think I should get another combine? This is going to take forever with just the one here. Question: Yeah, let's check the uh, clearance section here. Let's see what we got. Got a grain trailer. I don't need that, really. Mine could use that, but that would be banned from the farm. So nothing good there. All right, let's get a harvester. Maybe. So that's what we have there. The base game. Axial flow. I know the John Deere's are pretty cheap. Hmm. 
Jordan, you want me to go yellow? I don't know about that. Man, this is going to put me in the hole here. I think I'm going to stay with the red one. I wish there... I don't have any modded red combines. I don't know if any are out yet. <laughs> yeah, Jordan. Well, since Old Cranky now has a green hue to his name, I'll let him make the call there. So let me go ahead and grab some cash out of the bank here. Let's see. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and max out the loan. We're going to need it by the time it's all said and done with. Well, we'll stop there. All right, let's get another one. And I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and have it delivered to the farm. And I'm not real sure what wheel options we have here. I like the dual wheels. Let's go with the Michelins there. Well, before we do that, let's check out the... What a big old fat Midas. We'll just stick with the Michelin Twins. That'll be good. Oh, I didn't know that old cranky. I need to uh, check that out. Wait a minute. Is this, is this the right combine? Oh, I almost made a mistake. Almost made a mistake. That was a close one. Yeah, I didn't get GPS. I may add that later on. And then you know what? Let's go ahead with a header here. Well, let's let's get a big old header. You think it'll run it? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with uh, New Holland Jordan. I I uh, don't discriminate when it comes to man that uh, to farm equipment. That is that's really expensive. I'm going to hold off on that. And old cranky does have a point. That pipe may not be long enough. Let's just stick with the case. Header here. Mm. All right, this guy's almost full here. Oh, can I get to him before he turns? I don't think so. Let me stop him real quick. And I am blinking through the, uh, the equipment here, so I know I normally don't do that on my playthroughs. But we're not, we're not going to care here on this series. Thank you very much, Casa. Enjoy your night. Get some good rest. Appreciate you stopping by. Alright, we'll get this guy turned around here. And let him head off. And we'll get the other combine. Oop, got the angle just a little bit off. There we go. All right. 
Hey Gregory, how you doing? We are doing great here, just doing a little bit of farming here. After a little bit of setup. Yeah, Jordan, I am. Uh, we do intend to do that. We've had a we've had a dry patch here on uh, making some videos just with some things going on and timing and everything else. So we definitely are going to uh, get the kids back on at some point, hopefully in the very near future. Uh, that's a really cool series. Enjoying them participating. I think they're enjoying it too. So it's really cool to get them involved. And that could be something uh, that may work, BC Bueller. I did notice it only has the uh, backup lights. Yeah, just reverse lights, I think. Or did it? Let's see. Yeah, it's just a little reverse light. That may not be a bad thing as some uh, some lights on the back, but I don't know. I don't know if they had them on them. I kind of like it how it is. Yeah, Jordan, we, we, we'll get back to it. We just had to, uh, had some other things going on, so. We'll, uh, get back on calm lands and try and get some more stuff done. And matter of fact, I think the next episode we'll be doing some harvesting. And, uh, our, you know, the kids were really wanting to get to that point seemed like it just took forever and then uh, we were about ready to do the harvesting and then we hadn't been able to record so they'll be really excited to uh, get back on that series So I guess I just did not realize how big these fields were. Cause that combine has already worked through a large part of that, that side of the field and he is still a long ways away. Wow. Yeah, I agree uh, with Scorpion. Uh, make it, make it personal. That uh, gives it a little bit more uh, nostalgia for yourself. All right. So now that we have both combines going on, the field I'm probably going to become a grain truck driver. Hey there, Owen Farms. Let's see if we can catch this fella here. Yeah, now that, that I look at it, those augers are not long enough to get past that Duris header. So that would have been a mistake.
This is Sorghum. Jordan. Yeah, well, Cranky, I may... I'm going to go check that out uh, later on and uh, get that downloaded. I may swap out these combines for those. Do a little behind-the-scenes trickery on that before the next stream. Because I think it would be uh, beneficial to use those bigger headers at some point. Especially on, so we're on field 25 here, oh, where's my mouse, ah, it disappears, there we go, field 25, I own this field 28, what is it, like three, four times the size, that's going to take forever. Definitely will need to uh, set up a course with a course play and use some auto drive helpers for that field. Uh, Jordan is a little bit red on my screen. Red, brown, orange color. Hey there, Farm Medic. How are you doing tonight? Yes, Shredder. It is giant. Field 28. And I don't know that it's the biggest field. I think, actually, Field 5 is bigger. So, oh, let's see. We need to turn here. Oh, I get what you're saying, uh, Jordan. The uh, color of the tops. I got you. Go ahead and empty this guy out here. Because I know he was going to get stuck down the row. Just barely, just barely had it there. There we go. Yeah, and I do have the uh, additional crop info here, so you can see that there we go. It is growth stage four of four, but I guess that would be the forage state. But it is letting me harvest it. Uh, DJ, would I get any kind of different yield? If I was to wait to the next stage. Alright, old cranky, take care. Oh, I am in the wrong vehicle here. Reading chat. Yeah, I misunderstood what Jordan was saying there. I thought he was talking about the uh, the fruit color or the grain color. Let's let him go, and we'll hop in the truck again. Yeah, Kenneth, this is a a great rig. Unfortunately, I don't get any credit. This is all. The work of uh, BC Bueller. So he has put together a really nice mod for us to use.
Ah, uh, that makes sense, DJ. Okay. And I guess the other part of it would be is I could potentially uh, harvest with a combine part of the field and then maybe even cut some for forage. In the uh, same growth cycle. Yeah, we don't get much sorghum down this way. Um, I've seen it grown a few places, but never in very large quantities here locally, so definitely not something I'm really familiar with. I got Austin to subscribe. Got another one on the books. Appreciate you guys for subscribing. Austin, if you're in the stream, appreciate it. Aha. The mystery is solved. Okay. Well, that makes sense, DJ. So basically you could just you could plant both the sorghum and the corn in the same calendar year to make the ethanol. Gotcha. I'm not gonna get him for returns. Maybe, 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 maybe. Here we go. Oh, I'm all in the header. I'm sorry, BC Bueller, I scratched up the truck. Whoa, dude. <laughs> he is, he just took off. Come on now. Uh, who's, who just subscribed? I just missed it. Whoever it was, I appreciate it. Thank you. If you're in the chat, let me know. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys did not see that. <laughs> yeah. It went from bad to worse there, BC Bueller. <laughs> Mustang DC. I caught that one. I appreciate all you guys subscribing. I've had some really good growth here on the channel here lately, especially with subscribers and views. And it has just been extremely exciting here the past few days. So I appreciate all of you guys. Like I said in my Discord chat today, without you guys, I'm just some dude making videos for myself. The wreck. The wreck epic. Alright, so I am almost full. I think this uh, will fill up here with this last combine when it turns around. Hey, broder guy. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you uh, stopping in. Hope all is well with you. Yep, no problem, Grizzly. Take care. Okay, cool, Jordan. I'll take a look at that after the stream. Uh, Kenneth feels like home. Oh, 
I wonder if this guy is going to figure out he needs to go back. Or if he's going to get down here and stop. Hey, Chaotic. Nice to have you in the stream. Well, he's backing up like he knows what he's doing. Look at that. These Nebraska boys know, know what they're doing. Take a little bit more in the front one. Yeah, a little bit. That, that's it. Okay. I do have the uh, weight restriction turned on. I do like running with that. Now for you guys up in the uh, larger grain areas that that are familiar with it, would you normally drive a truck like this out in the field? Or would you cart it to the edge with the uh, tractor? We don't, it's not a whole lot of grain grown down here uh, a lot of peanuts and cotton so a little bit different on the uh, harvesting that's why I figured shredder so it looks like we have a mix of mix of answers here so it may just be a regional uh, dependent thing chaotic I am from Florida sunshine state the land of liquid sunshine If the old man was gone, that's funny. Yeah, so it looks like there's just uh, really a dependent dependency on uh, the field conditions. And maybe what equipment you have at your farm. So, but thank you guys for all of that information. Yeah, chaotic. There's uh, several folks from Texas here on the stream. Uh, at least a few I know of. AJ Wiggums is it here? Hello, hello, hello. Speaking of Texas. And barbecue. I found something that at some point I'm going to use, but I want to take a little peek at it here real quick. I got to find it. Let's see if I can find it. Cody Joseph, thank you for the subscribe. 
I do appreciate it. Let me find it. And we got Recon Lobster as a subscription as well. That is awesome. Very, very cool, guys. I want to find something here real quick. Maybe. Uh, where is this thing? Maybe. There it is. That's got to be it. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Even got the Texas wood placard on the side. I'm going to have to use that eventually. Yeah, I, that was one of my favorite series I did, Chaotic, is the uh, West Texas series. I really enjoyed that one. Another Texas, a lot of Texas folks. Hey, Fighting Farmer. Yeah, I'm glad you caught it, too. I'm glad to do one. It's been... Quite some time, I think uh, early January was my last live stream, so I'm glad to be able to be back, able to to get back into some live streams, and hopefully I can be consistent. Yeah, that is sweet, isn't it, Scorpion? I saw that and uh, hit download immediately. <laughs> and we have Recon Lobster as my second channel member. That is so cool. I've had two channel members, my first two channel members, this live stream. So that is really, really cool. Thank you, guys. Uh, Kenneth, a farm rescue. Probably. I'm going to let this uh, Flip the Farm series kind of play out and uh, see where that goes and then regroup from there. But yeah, I enjoyed doing that. That was uh, interesting and I like the storyline. I, I like the struggle kind of uh, working through some, some situations. So yes, I think I probably will. Recon Lobster with the $10 Super Chat. That is very, very generous. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I am enjoying the uh, Flip the Farm series uh, as well. It's a little bit different concept um kind of not a deep storyline but uh just kind of throwing in some characters to kind of give it a little bit extra and uh thought it kind of cool because i can kind of take the profits and proceeds from the cells and move along to some other maps and maybe progress that way so i think that'll end up being a pretty good series if I can ever get a little bit of cash under my belt I need some work there on Elk Mountain to add to the bank account So actually those combines are nearly done. They've made short work of this field. Yeah, and that's, that's the other thing, uh, Kenneth, too, is it gives me an opportunity, this uh, Flip the Farm series, to move around. 
because like I said, if you've read the description of that series is, you know, you get locked into a map, you're trying to do a series, and then a new map comes out and you really want to move to it. And I don't want to just be one of those YouTubers that just jump around to every new map and do one or two episodes on it and then off to the next new thing because uh, personally, I don't find that appealing. And so I, you know, I, I want to put a product out there that's a little bit more uh, dedicated to what I'm doing, not just, you know, fad, fad hopping, basically. So um, Flip to Farm series kind of gives me that option because if, you know, something comes up and I do want to move to it, I should be able to quickly transition the story uh, if need be and may move to it quicker than if I just got sucked into a, a storyline or something. So that was my intent because uh, that was one thing during 19 is I felt like I really got locked into a lot of maps and missed out on a lot of maps. So. That was just uh, something I decided to do from a content creator standpoint to uh, give me the opportunity to play some different maps. Ah, thanks a lot, Austin. We'll be, be safe out there. Definitely uh, keep track of what you're doing there. But thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, Kenneth. Yeah, KG, K, uh, KJ, it's, that's exactly what I was talking about. It's, it's hard as a content creator. I mean, I guess if you just had no, no value or no, um, I, I don't know how to explain it. It just, it's just is kind of a turnoff for me to see people just jump, jump around. I'm, and hey, that's fine if you want to do it, but I don't watch them. Um, I kind of like the commitment to, to something. So that is uh, why I started that series. So we got this field done. Two combines. I'm interested to see how much grain we ended up with. Epic, it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, I think, I think we are going to see a whole lot of maps, but it's just taking some time. Um, you know, obviously these guys don't don't do this as a job. I mean, a lot of these guys do this, you know, in their part time or free time. So it's just taking some time for them to get them converted and we'll see them. They'll come. Yeah, KJ, I, I do the same thing on my personal plate. You know, I'll kind of come up with, even if it's not a storyline, at least a, uh, you know, a set of parameters that I want to play through just so that I have a purpose. Um, it, if you play this game long enough, I mean, driving tractors is driving tractors, so um, there's not a whole lot you can do to kind of change that. So my way of making it fun and keeping it fun is uh, doing the story stuff. I, I really enjoy that. And it gives me a way to be creative and and keep it interesting. Yeah, see, there you go, folks. KJ has got a hundred hours in a map. Now, is that creating a map, KJ, or playing it?
Uh, yeah, so creating. Yeah, it takes time. Definitely takes time. It is a labor of love. There is no doubt. Oh, let me grab this little bit of sorghum out of this one combine here. I want to hit the bush. Nope. Got around it there. I scratched my head there on the header. And that was it. get this dumped in here and then we'll give a check on see how much that fuel got us hundred and sixty eight thousand liters not too bad so I'm not going to start on field 28 tonight because that thing is going to be a bear uh, it is ready to harvest i believe so we'll save that to the next stream but i think what i want to go ahead and do because i do want to uh do most of this uh most of this map gameplay on stream so let's go ahead and uh, get our equipment sorted around here And if you guys have any ideas for equipment that I should run on this farm, let me know. Give me your input. Whoa. That was stuck in the ground there. And uh, let me know what you think. If there's anything uh, that you think would be suited for this area or this map. Now, I did this earlier. We're not being super realistic. I am Mighty Mike. There. Alright, now I need to find out where to put these things. Hopefully there is a pull-through shed somewhere. There's no way I'm going to back this thing up. Oh boy. I'm not seeing any pull throughs here. Yeah, Epic, I don't know if I will keep that planner. Um, I don't know. I this was the that was the planner that was on the map. But I'm not sure if I'll keep it. Hmm. Well, I am gonna to try to Park this. Oh yeah, that's got like two pivot points. What in the world? I wanna leave it outside. <laughs> Let's just leave it outside. That's nah, gonna be the easiest. But where? Where do I leave it? 
This looks like a good spot right back here behind the shed. Perfect. Hey there, Nathan. How you doing? Let's see. Oh, but that's a cool door right there. I like that. The uh, sliding door there on the side. Doing fantastic. Had a pretty good stream so far. And uh, just enjoying some farming simulator here, so doing really good. Trying to be easy with the camera, guys. I'm sorry about all the uh, loops here. Just trying to find out where I want to uh, get this equipment stashed away. Hey, I saw that scorpion. That's right, uh, folks. If you don't have Farm Sim 22 or you want some of the additional uh, packs that maybe go with it it is on sale and if you're on PC use my code mighty Mike all one word I do have links in the video description that would be much appreciated Hey Nathan, we uh we went through the uh, Mac a little bit earlier on. Uh, it's got a couple trailers that go with it, and uh, some uh, different uh, actual combinations that we hadn't seen. Um, you can watch the early part of this video if you want to rewind and watch that. I uh, went through it, and uh, you should be able to see everything there. I need that, Kenneth. Uh, yeah, one of those Kwanzaa huts or something that's open on both ends. So I'm going to hang on to this Demco cart. Excuse me for now. I may look at switching that out, but it holds quite a bit. So we'll hold on to it may find a use for it as we go along we're going to uh, get some different equipment and swap some things out but like I said at the beginning this was just a fresh game save and I was just trying to use some of what was provided and then we'll just kind of work our way through it as we move through the series here and kind of figure out what we need that's the biggest thing right now. I just don't know what all I need working on these big fields. Oh, and I hate these articulated tractors. Jordan, um... I might, but I was actually kind of leaning toward something else. I really wanted to look into anhydrous. And I think eventually I want to get to using the seed hawk here. Uh, this is the Ford Ag Mod, and uh, I think you can run anhydrous with it. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I do like the Borgo stuff, but uh, that was what I was kind of shooting for, is trying to use some anhydrous, because I have never used anhydrous on any of my gameplay. I 
uh, Austin, uh, my series on this map is this. We're going to live stream this map. Uh, I think what I want to do is try to do a pretty regular live stream schedule. And we'll get uh, some pretty good gameplay in. I may have to do just little bits here and there off camera. But I think for the most part, we'll be able to do the majority of it on the uh, on the streams good old boys good old boys is here thank you for showing up appreciate it yes auto drive does work Hmm. This is a this is a long rig here. I'm gonna have to park it somewhere. This is different doing this kind of stuff on a live stream. Normally, I spend some time uh, doing this off camera. So bear with me, folks. I'm trying to uh, think through some of this stuff and figure it out as I go. <laughs> Almost missed it. We don't have much more time to go, I don't think. But glad you're here nonetheless. Well, I'm glad to have you, Austin. So, always good to uh, have folks drop in. And the new faces are awesome. That means that my channel is getting uh, getting seen by some new folks, and that is a good thing. T800 has just subscribed. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. Well, so the only thing we have left to deal with is the combines, and they are perfectly fine right there because we're going to use those on the next stream so real quick around the farm we do have the harvest store silos those do ferment I do believe we do have the corn dryer if we want to use that and then we do have two cow pens I think these are both cow pens yep one cow pen Yeah, Austin, this one more than likely will not make it to console uh, just based on the size of the map. Uh, where's the... Where's the trigger? Huh. We have two cow pins. Maybe it's in here? Yes, Scorpion, we have had a ton of new subs tonight. This has been a fantastic stream. I'm very, very thankful for all of you guys for joining me. Please don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And hey, share my videos, share my channel. If you got any friends or family, your grandmother, it doesn't matter. Get them all to subscribe and watch my videos. All right, so we do have the two cow pens. We have all of these sheds. I do need to close some doors. So as of right now, we're going to finish up the harvesting on that field up there. And let's uh, take a little flight here and just show you how big. Oh, did I already have flight mode on? Yep. That's the field. In all its glory, ready to harvest. Hey, Rabbit Rob. So we have this one to, to harvest next time. Definitely going to have to probably set up course play. And we'll start working on getting some 
help with auto drive. We'll continue putting BC Bueller's truck through the paces. Make sure that sucker is ready to go for all you guys to enjoy. So I think that is actually a really good stopping point. I hate to drop off with all of you fantastic people on the stream, but that's a very good stopping point. Next time, we're going to hit that big field and knock it out now that we have two combines. And then we'll look into possibly some productions, some animals, and then replanting our fields. Maybe we'll buy another field. So guys, I appreciate it. I appreciate you all for hanging in there with me, joining. All the subscribers, the channel, new channel members, all of the likes, all of the support. You guys are awesome. Thank you for joining me. Be safe out there. And... Come back for the next one. Thank you guys.